85 of Wilson Dilks. The 19 of Tyler Humphreys. This was a cracking race last time. And like I say, Humphreys and Dilks uh, have been out there banging bars more than once. And uh, just give them a chance to catch their breath. Everybody then looking down, waiting for the lights to change for their, their last race of the day. 14 laps. It's Mini GP UK 160. The lights will come on and then they will go out. And they will be underway for a 14 lap up. Here we go. Way there you go. Lou's got the jump. Oh, it's really tight at the front. It's the 217 again. Hudson Cooper. Beats his teammate Tyler Humphreys into turn one, but Humphreys fires it down the inside. So the teammates then away at the front. Who's that going to be in third? That looks like it might be the 14 of Frankie Watson. It is Watson. And it's the 85 of Wilson Dilks. Oh, big moment then for our third place. Number 14, and Frankie Watson, he got the rear end spinning up then. So end of lap one then. They come across the line for the first time. It was Humphreys that led. Number 19 from Hudson Cooper. And it's the number 14. Of Watson. He's having a run down the inside. Here we go. Oh, he moves him over. That was tight. Again, the track comes in from the other side, so it makes it worse because as Watson's just moving over a little bit. The track is coming in from the other side. And Hudson Cooper just uh, had to make use of the room he was given there. And again, great riding. These boys uh, certainly know how to ride nice and tight. Nobody panicked there at all. I'm really impressed with the standard of riding all day here. The Cumbria Kart Club here at Raura, round two of the British Mini Bike Championship. We've seen fantastic racing all through the different classes. This uh, FIM Mini GP 160, one of the uh, blue ribbon classes. This is your top four, all in shot. It's the 85 of Dilks. Like I say these riders are making the absolute maximum out of these bikes. Across the line, then 11 to go. as to why we're uh, seeing Humphrey second and Watson first hopefully that will uh, correct itself so this is third and fourth and the 85 of Dilks just hanging on to the back of this group but they're already checked out down the hill down into St John's Is our race leaders and across the line and it is Humphreys that now pings to the top We've got intermediate split times and I think that's one of the things that's confusing the timing but these two boys are away at the front then is anybody going to uh, have anything for Tyler Humphreys today so Humphreys from Watson from Hudson Cooper Ilks there in fourth, and it's the 9 1 2 of Joshua Herring. So, yeah, the shadows begin to lengthen. The sun is still 
poking through the clouds occasionally, as you can see by the shadows underneath our race leader. Just have a chance to nip outside into that there fresh air. And uh, it is still a nice day out there. The fastest lap of the race then from our race leader 50.53 from Tyler Humphreys 50.59 from Watson so that explains how he's hanging on it's only 0, 0, 006 of a second those guys checked out now two and a half seconds back to Hudson Dilks oh, sorry Hudson Cooper Wilson Dilks in fourth and it's uh, Josh Herring Daniel Stevenson Chloe Gleeson having a good run in seventh she got mugged at the end of the last one, so she'll be looking for uh, revenge on that one, but she's a few seconds adrift of Dan Stevenson. These guys so fast through that chicane. Oh, but I'm about to say that uh, Tyler Humphreys hasn't put a foot wrong, and that was the first uh, bit of a mistake that I've seen out of him. Just got the, uh, the bike moving on the way out of the corner. And as a result, Frankie Watson is all over the back of him. So the passing places on this track, on these uh, ovales, completely different to uh, what we would normally expect to see on the Supermoto guys around here, which is where I'm normally from. Everybody far more polite than we are. This is one of the places where you throw it down the inside, and we've seen Watson do that. But Humphreys carries so much speed into this uh, McRae's hairpin that uh, he's just not able to make it stick. And the gap is starting to go out just a little bit. He's lost maybe a bike length that lap. Watson is the fastest rider on track for this race at a 50.4 he's back on the back of our race leader so there's the invisible piece of string that's connecting these two together so you can have a run up the inside chooses not to but again it looks like there's loads of room on the inside there until there isn't and the same into this corner because as soon as Humphrey starts to tip in the gap that you're expecting to uh, ride into disappears Really close then into the corner at the far end. Is Watson going to have anything to say? Now he's been quick into here a few times, but he just looks like he's happy to follow. Just to keep his powder dry, we've got a rider off in that uh, final corner there around Paddock. Not quite sure who that was. Might have been the 111 of Harry Rafferty. He's uh, showing uh, two laps down now. So, uh, so he has tipped off. This FL engine, FIM Mini GP 160 Cup, then. The top two guys in this one will be going to Europe to race up against the best that they have to offer. It's fair to say that although there's all, uh, they do seem to be different abilities in this race. The guys at the front will be at the front anywhere. No overtaking. There's a yellow flag out there, so uh, just still trying to uh, shift that bike out. So that may be not helping. We've got traffic coming as well. Well, seems to have gone by in an absolute blink. Or oh, race leader then comes up behind this gaggle of riders. 20 of Joseph Cooper in there. Oh, this is going to get all a little bit tight. Oh, that's a lovely move. Swings out wide and makes the cut through. He's not going to get across at the top here. 
And all of a sudden, there's two back markers in there between our race leader and second place. And that's it. He's going to go around the outside here if he can, and he's not managed to do it. Got to make the move down the inside stick with three to go then. So Frankie Watson did everything that he could do. He just caught those guys in the wrong place, and as a result, he's uh, ended up on the wrong end of that one. We've seen that more than once today. Any of you guys that managed to catch the coverage of the Northwest 200? Similar thing happened there, and. Uh, it's just a part of racing, unfortunately, and with these uh, 49 second laps or 50 second laps that these guys and girls are doing, it doesn't take long before we're uh, up into the, uh, the slower traffic. Oh, we've got gone down there, not quite sure who that is. Is that Watson? He was definitely uh, not an happy bunny there. Is that Watson that's gone down? Well, he's not there. He's not in the background, and he's, he's Watson Cooper up to second. So Watson, for whatever reason, whether he's trying to catch up, but he's crashed out of second place. That's a shame. Because he's ridden really well here all day. He's been a man on the move. He's been forcing the, the likes of Tyler Humphreys. He's gone down. He's gone down at the bottom of the hill there. He's gone down at St John's, that's easy done. The track drops away. If you get just slightly wrong on the way in, the bike just batters itself away. And that looks like it's what's happened. Tyler Humphreys then. Now an easy leader. And we've got a battle for second, I don't think we have. No, Cooper nine seconds back and Dilks a further four seconds. So, oh, mistake then. Race leader shakes his head. He will have seen Watson at the side of the track. Quite possibly. And he'll note that uh, all of a sudden the pressure's gone. This is where Watson made the mistake. Did he click the kerb on the inside? I think he was far enough right, further around the corner. Well, not as far around the corner as to click the curb. Maybe he lost it on tipping. Here we go then. Checkered flag then. For the 19 of Tyler Humphreys. Another victory. Oh, here's, a, here's, a, here's a gaggle for you. I think some of these are... Uh, are a lap down. This is the battle for the lower end of the leaderboard. It comes across the line. That's Leo Hams, Joe Cooper... And Ollie Evitz buried in there as well was Hudson Cooper and Wilson Dilks. Josh Herrin and Daniel Stevenson, fourth and fifth. We're going to get a late battle here. Oh, pass up the inside. Oh, that was close. So Lucas King just hanging. Uh, on to uh, sixth place, uh, seventh place then from Ollie O'Gorman and Leo Solu. So that's everybody over the line. Well, that was a shame then for the number 14. He did everything that he could and uh, got mugged off a little bit by the uh, the slower traffic there towards the end of that one. And whether he made contact with another one, I don't think he did. I don't think there was anybody around him. But uh, he will end up classified as we see there down in 13th place. That will be bad for his championship. So number 19, Tyler Humphreys takes a victory from the 217 of Hudson Cooper. Number 85, Wilson D uh, Dilks in third. Fourth then, at number 912, Josh Herring. Fifth, number 18, Daniel Stevenson. Sixth, number 25, Chloe Gleeson. Seventh, number 16, Lucas King. Eighth, number 88, Ollie O'Gorman. Ninth, number 36, Leo Soyu. Tenth, number 11, Leo Hams. Eleventh, number 20, Joseph Cooper. Twelfth, number 61, Ollie Evitts. And then 13th, Frankie Watson, number 14, and 111, Harry Rafferty.